Hey everybody, welcome to the next video. In this video, we are going to discuss the sudo file system uh, slash dev slash proc and slash sys. Okay, so these are the systems that we are going to discuss. So first of all, uh, let's open up the terminal um, and list here slash dev. So these are all the devices uh, that this system, you know, has. Okay, so essentially, uh, all of these devices you know they don't have to be like present here so uh, these are like not physical devices but you know the kernel has made entries okay so this sda it you know it represents the hard drive i can use this i can write few commands i can you know use this to view the data in my hard drive i can you know uh, recover the data using it okay so if you want to access the device itself you'd have to go through the device tree okay so this is like the device tree and if you want to access any of the device then you have to go through this device tree okay so the next pseudo file system which we are going to discuss is uh let me clear it first is the proc okay proc file system okay so we have you can see we have numbers here you know a lot of numbers so these numbers uh, represent the IDs the process IDs okay the processes which are running um, the IDs of them so you could see there is number one uh, you know number one represents the init process which is the very first process here so let's say uh, what if I uh, you know if I want to check the status of this first ID so how would I do that slash box slash one okay so now uh, I have come here and now I can check the status so if I hit LS now you can uh, see uh, that we have all uh, these processes running here all right so what we can do here, we can allocate memory to a specific file. We can also take a look at anything related to network. So th this was like the proc pseudo file system. All right. So the next uh, we could like, you know, we could like come out of here. Okay, so now uh, let me clear that okay so the next uh, system that we uh, the next you know uh, pseudo file system that we're going to discuss is sys so if we go in it we hit ls we can see all these important directories so this is where we can get to a lot of settings that exist within kernel or operating system that's why you you're able to see here the block directory the bus directory dev class devices even firmware here you can see the kernel directory here the module and the power directory as well so let's see what we can uh, do here so if we get to the kernel uh, and in here if we list it you can see we have a lot of you know uh, the processes the flags so here uh, let's take this one k execute crash uh, loaded so what if we want to display this file here so what we would do we would write here cat uh, let me sudo it sudo cat because it is going to require uh, you know it is going to need the uh, admin permission so that's why we have written sudo here crash underscore loaded if we hit enter it is asking me for the password I put in the password and you can see it has zero so you could say what what does that zero mean right so it simply means that it in uh, you know it indicates that flag is at default okay 
So, you know, we can keep digging, but the bottom line, we can keep digging in all of these, like, you know, all of these files, but the idea is, or the bottom line is that there are a lot of entries here. We can set flags, which then can change the behavior of operating system. Okay, so these were the pseudo file system. Some of the pseudo file system we we have not, you know, taken, you know, a look at every file, each and every file because of the limited time. But in the similar fashion, in the similar way, you can take a look at all the files, the basic commands we have, you know, taught you. So that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.